Okay, so we are going to discuss our statistics continuation of our last of our last lecture. So we have descriptive. Sinabi nga natin descriptive statistics collection organize organization summary and then presentation of data. While for the inferential, we have generalizing, conclusion, and prediction from the sample data. So, makita natin dyan lahat. So, this is the script. Collection of data, pre-present mo through tables or graphs, and then sa summaries mo using the sample mean, summation of x over n. Diba? That's all for the mean. And then for the variable, a characteristic under the study that assumes different values for different elements. So a variable is often denoted by x, y, or z. The value of a variable for an element is called an observation or measurement. For the data set, is a collection of observation on one or more variables. Quantitative variable, variables, a variable that can be measured numerically. Quantitative variables may be classified as either descriptive variables or continuous variables. For the quantitative variables, may be classified as either descriptive, discrete variables, a variable whose values are countable. So, for example, number of the students of present in a class, number of the green marbles in HR, number of tails when flipping three coins, and student grade a point average. So, yeah. For the continuous variables, a variable whose value is obtained by measurement. So, we have the height of the students in the class, and then weight of the students in the class, or the time it takes to get to school, or the distance travel between classes. So, these are the example of the continuous variables. Well, for the qualitative variable, sorry, qualitative, a variable that cannot assume a numerical value but can be classified into two or more non-numeric categories. So, yeah, for example, di ba? Meron tayong ito yung variable natin. So, we have qualitative, quanti. Di ba? Nabibili lang yan. Kayang-kaya. So, meron tayong di, di, uh, di, to, uh, dichotomic, dichotomic, I mean, polynomic. Under dichotomy, we have gender, gender, marital status. For the polynomic, we have brand of PC or hair color. For the quantitative, we have the discrete and continuous. For the discrete, children in family or stroke on a golf hole. For continuous, we have the amount of income tax paid and then weight of a students. So, these are the example para makita natin kung paano natin kaklasify ang isang qualitative at quantitative. So, under yan, may discrete siya, may continuous. Ayan. So, nakikita nyo yung mga sample, ha? Doon siya yung makaklasify. Ayan. Siya. Actually, meron akong ginawang in-upload doon sa ating uh, Google classroom na uh, sasagutan nyo, you're going to classify it as uh, kung yun ay isang quantitative, quantitative or qualitative. So, good luck. I hope na masagutan nyo siya. And then, sandali lang kaya-kaya nyo yan. And then, I hope na naindihan nyo yan ating diniscuss. Okay. Maraming salamat. Ciao!